that we Muslims, we give respect to the Quran, alhamdulillah. But many of us, they go beyond the limit, they give so much respect that they forget for what purpose the Quran was revealed. You know, we keep the Quran on the topmost shelf. Alhamdulillah. They keep it so much on top that it's difficult to reach. And the Quran catches dust. You know, the Quran is a book of guide. It's a guide book. You know, suppose if you are studying, the guide book is normally at a shelf which is reachable. You know, it's kept at a shelf which you can re reach the easiest. You won't keep it on top where well, it's difficult to take a stool to keep get it down so Quran is a book we should be referred every day it should be handy and many of us Muslims you know we tie the Quran in a pure silk cloth and then we tie a knot on it suppose if you want to read the Quran you start thinking okay five minutes to open the Quran five minutes again to tie the Quran ten minutes the thought of you opening the Quran and again tying it will be a deterrent. And if you have 10 minutes, 10 minutes will go and open it and open it. If you have 10 minutes time, you know to open the Quran, close 10 minutes, you better not eat the Quran. See, we have to respect the Quran, but the main respect is in the heart. I am not against keeping the Quran on top, don't get me wrong. But see to it that it is accessible. It's easily available for guidance. You know, many of us Muslims, before touching the Quran, we scrutinize a thousand things as though it's an RDX bomb. Quran, wearing shoes, can I touch the Quran? Can I read the Quran while standing? Can I read it in the office? All these things, they prevent you from reading the Quran. We scrutinize the Quran as though it's an RDX bomb going to explode. The Quran is a book of guidance. So that is the reason many of us Indians object to you know, the Arabs, mashallah, the way they, they treat the Quran, they give respect. But as though it's a guide, it's available. We Muslims keep it on top of shelf, you know, in India. It's catching dust. And rarely will we find people when they are five minutes, ten minutes, they refer to the Quran. Because there is, you know, we have to have that frame of mind and then we have to see 10 things, we can't be in shoes, we can't stand and we have to have a hat over your head, etc, etc. See, many things are good, but don't make life so difficult that the main purpose of the Quran is for guidance will defeat it.